coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Six Russian aircraft intercepted in Alaska Aedas. Honeywell Vets Anthem Integrated Flight Deck. United Airline Picket Draws Record Turnout. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Six Russian aircraft intercepted in Alaska Aedas. On May 14th, NORAD disclosed that U.S. fighter jets had intercepted six Russian aircraft operating within the boundaries of the Alaska Air Defense Identification Zone, an area of airspace beyond U.S. sovereign territory within which the ready identification, location, and control of all aircraft, excepting those operated by the U.S. DOD and acknowledged law enforcement agencies, is required in the interest of U.S. national security. The intercepted Russian aircraft included Tu-95 Bear bombers, functionally obsolete 1950s vintage quad turboprops, IL-78 aerial tankers, and Su-35 flanker fighter jets, formidable single-seat twin-engine supermaneuverable aircraft designed and built by Russia's Suhoi Design Bureau. NORAD described the incident as routine and set forth that such intercepts occur as often as seven times per year in the Alaska Aedas. Quote, this Russian activity in the North American ADIS occurs regularly and is not seen as a threat. NORAD tracks and positively identifies all military aircraft that enter the ADIS, routinely monitors aircraft movement, and as necessary, escorts them from the ADIS, end quote. According to the NORAD statement, the U.S. aircraft by which the Russian warplanes were intercepted included USAF F-16 and F-22 fighters, KC-135 Stratotankers, and E-3 AWACS. Coming up after the break, World War II airmen identified and laid to rest. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. World War II airmen identified and laid to rest. The U.S. Defense POW MIA Accounting Agency has accounted for U.S. Army Air Force's Staff Sergeant Ralph D. Kolb of McGee, Arkansas. After 80 long years among the Second World War's unknown and heroic dead, Sergeant Kolb, who was killed in action in 1943 at age 19, will be laid to rest in his hometown on June 14, 2023. In the summer of 1943, Kolb was assigned to the 343rd Bombardment Squadron Heavy, 98th Bombardment Group Heavy, 9th Air Force. FAA to offer no further legal opinions on trusts. The Office of the Chief Counsel for the FAA, Mark Nichols, delivered a memorandum to the aircraft registration community. The memo, authored by Alexandra Radazzo, Assistant Chief Counsel Information Law Division, announced that effective Monday, May 15, 2023, Aeronautical Center Central Region Council will no longer issue legal opinions to what it refers to as external stakeholders on any subject relating to the registration of aircraft using non-citizen trusts, the registration of aircraft using revocable living trusts, or the recordation of what the ACC calls aircraft-related instruments. TrueBlue Power lithium-ion battery PC-12 STC announced. TrueBlue Power's Gen 5 TB40 lithium-ion battery has been granted FAA Supplemental Type Certificate approval for installation in all models of Pilatus's highly popular PC-12 single-engine turboprop aircraft. Developed by Finoff Aviation Products, LLC, the STC comprises options for single and dual main battery installations and can be adapted to the entirety of extant PC-12 models, from the aircraft's original 1994 incarnation through its PC-12NG, PC-12M, and current PC-12NGX iterations. Embry-Riddle Team Sets Amateur Liquid Rocket World Record 
On April 16, 2023, nine undergraduate students representing Embry-Riddle's Prescott campus set multiple rocketry records, including that for the highest undergraduate and collegiate amateur liquid rocket launch in the U.S. by launching a rocket called Deneb to an altitude of 47,732 feet, thereby more than doubling the previous record of 22,000 feet. During a total burn time of 26.1 seconds, Deneb, which is named for a first-magnitude star in the constellation Cygnus, reached a velocity of 999.3 knots. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Honeywell Vets Anthem Integrated Flight Deck Honeywell Aerospace's Pilatus PC-12 test aircraft has successfully completed the first test flight of the company's Anthem Integrated Flight Deck. Although Honeywell Anthem has been in flight tests for more than a year and has accumulated upwards of 120 hours of flight time, the May 12th flight was the first wholly managed by the next-generation avionics suite. First announced in late 2021, Honeywell Anthem draws on its maker's extensive repertoire of aerospace expertise and experience. What's more, the Anthem suite, which can be customized for installation in virtually every type and model of aircraft, from airliners and business jets to defense, general aviation, and advanced air mobility platforms, occasions Honeywell's first cloud-connected cockpit system. Retrofitted with and operated via Honeywell Anthem's fully integrated flight deck, the PC-12 test aircraft executed an uneventful one-hour evaluation flight over the Phoenix, Arizona metropolitan area. The aircraft was flown by PIC Ed Manning and SIC Bill Lee and supported by lead flight engineer Paul Carter and flight engineer Will Quinn. Compared to Honeywell's popular Primus Epic integrated avionics suite, the new Anthem System's core architecture offers aircraft operators greater installation flexibility while instantiating 50% reductions in size, weight, and power draw. And after these messages, United Airline Picket draws record turnout. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Welcome back. United Airline Picket draws record turnout. Some 3,000 United Airlines pilots, joined by ALPA President Captain Jason Ambrosi, fellow ALPA pilots and union supporters, stood shoulder to shoulder throughout the duration of a May 12th coast-to-coast -coast picketing campaign. Staunch and orderly, the multitude of aviators represented by the Airline Pilots Association International resolutely protested management's refusal to recognize the vital role United's pilots play in the air carrier's success. Captain Ambrosi stated, quote, I am proud to stand here today to send United Airlines management a message that the airline's pilots have the full backing of their international union in their fight for the contract they have earned. United management needs to stop slow rolling negotiations that have dragged into their fifth year and do the right thing for their pilots, end quote. United Airlines ALPA Master Executive Council Chair Captain Garth Thompson asserted, quote, United pilots will always be there for our customers. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said about management, who seems to think that a last-minute cancellation of a United pilot's scheduled day off or abrupt trip reassignments that extend into planned days off is acceptable for a United pilot's family. This is an example of how this old pilot contract impacts our ability to maintain a healthy work-life balance, end quote. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.